Bitdefender Free versus Premium. Oh yeah, an ongoing battle across Reddit forums and in comment sections. And since it's difficult to find a free antivirus that doesn't suck your system's resources dry, well, it's an understandable debate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a Bitdefender guide that will cover all the pros and cons of this so-called industry titan. And by the end, I hope that you'll know if it's worth investing in or if the free plan offers enough protection for your online habits. Now, in terms of security, Bitdefender has a lot going for it in general, be it with the free or the premium plans. What's special here is that Bitdefender relies on a global protective network system, which basically means that new malware can be detected on opposite sides of the world, but their databases will all sync up. So that way I can protect my computer over here in the US from all of those far away dangerous threats. Okay, then there are the phenomenal malware detection rates, which hey, they must be doing something right given the four years of product of the year award from AV Comparatives. Now, four years might not sound like a lot, but it's more awarded than any other antivirus provider, including 100% grades in all major categories in recent testing. Now, considering the industry average is 99.3 for zero-day malware detection, well, yeah, they're doing just fine. Excellent, even. Architecture aside, your experience is still going to differ depending on what type of plan that you opt for. So as I run through the main differences here, just keep in mind that the absolute best deals are gonna be down in the description when you're ready to pull the trigger. All right, so what about my own testing and scan capabilities with free versus premium? Well, I will say that detection rates weren't massively that different with the free versus premium comparison, which is kind of expected since they use the same malware database to detect threats. Now, after planting 10 malicious files onto my PC and running a full system scan, well, for this Bitdefender antivirus versus virus test, I was shocked to see that Bitdefender Free and the premium counterpart both detected 9 out of 10 files, a near perfect score. And it's cool that real time protection can be enabled too with the free or the premium plan. That way, you're going to get protection around the clock and remove threats instantly. I was also really impressed that it only took around 15 minutes to complete, not a terrible full scan duration at all. But something to note here is that there's no URL blocking, a firewall, or vulnerability assessment with the Bitdefender free plan. So while you can scan to detect viruses, you won't be able to protect from brute force attacks, security holes, or stopping traffic threats from getting onto your private network. So yeah, the detection score was near excellent from both the free and the premium versions, and the database is the same. So you're gonna get really good protection without having to pay. But as I mentioned, the free version will only really be able to remove threats from your PC, not really mitigate any damage that they might cause. So now you might be wondering if your online habits warrant investing, or if Bitdefender Free is the best free antivirus for you. The biggest limitation that I've noticed with Bitdefender Premium versus Free is that the full free plan is really only available on Windows. You do get a scanner for Mac OS, which can remove threats, but it is a bare bones version and only available in the US. In terms of free offerings with the window version, you're gonna feel secure with automatic updates. Oh, and then there's web attack prevention, which helps me to avoid any malicious sites while browsing. Again, nice extra feature from this antivirus provider. And don't forget the real-time protection, which really is a must have from any antivirus provider if you ask me. Okay, there's also free online support. Okay, not really that unusual in a free plan, but it is handy if you're new to the world of antivirus software. Now, if you're someone who stores precious files on your PC or would like to avoid dangerous traffic getting into your network, Bitdefender Free for Windows or even the Mac Scanner may actually be too basic and the premium option is going to be worth a much closer look. I mean, what we're really looking at here is the advanced stuff like a firewall to monitor incoming threats and ransomware protection, which makes sure cyber criminals can't even encrypt your sensitive data. It's especially crucial since ransomware in and of itself has become a billion dollar industry for cyber criminals. And for some other shiny stuff, there's even a VPN and password manager with all paid versions. This hides my IP as I browse, meaning my ISP and third party snoopers can't track my online journey. Okay, now looking past the security elements, 
Do you really feel the impact of the premium version if you're someone who does resource heavy activities like gaming? Well, check out the particular profiles that you can enable. It's really easy to do. Just tap the left tab and here you'll be met with a few options. I tend to use the gaming mode and public Wi-Fi protection to optimize my computer's performance while Bitdefender just runs seamlessly in the background while also safeguarding my connection from eavesdroppers on unprotected networks. Okay, look, there is a lot more to unpack here, but those are the key features that I use the most with the premium plan. So really it's all gonna depend on the type of online activities that you do. And if I'm honest, Bitdefender isn't charging a crazy amount, especially when looking at the entry level plan. Currently at around 15 bucks for the first year, you get a really good level of protection for your PC. And all plans come with a 30 day free trial, so you can test the waters out if you need to. My biggest gripe is that this plan only covers three devices. So some, like me, are gonna find that a little bit limiting. And if that's a huge concern for you, well, there's the Bitdefender Total Security Plan. So for just a bit more, currently under just $40 for the first year, you get five devices covered and you get more advanced features like being able to customize what your children can access online, speed optimization, and even anti-theft capabilities. Look, the pricing really isn't that far-fetched with everything that you end up getting. And I gotta say, they offer really inclusive plans for all types of users. But not all users are gonna have the same experiences. And that's thanks to the different experiences across the different devices. For example, you're gonna get a different experience on the iOS version. That's not to say it's any harder to use and even the setups are simple. Once installed, you've got a clear dashboard and the features are accessible at the bottom. But the iOS version is just extremely lackluster in terms of its features and it feels, well, just basic. Now compare that to the Android version where you get exclusives like an app lock, a battery and performance saver, and even syncing with your smartwatch. Yeah, I'd say this is one of the best antiviruses for Android offerings, especially in terms of overall value. Okay, what about the desktop app? But more importantly, Bitdefender for Windows. Well, you should know the setup can take some time, but once installed, it's smooth sailing from there on out. Now, Bitdefender Premium is available on a wide range of operating systems, and the free version isn't massively versatile if you aren't on Windows. This is a sad motif for Apple users, but truthfully, Apple devices do have various built-in features that do some of the same sort of stuff, I guess. There's an easy to understand layout with tabs on the left for a more traditional antivirus feel, but Mac users really should look at the more costly plan if they want those advanced options because this is where the features start to get really packed in. Now, having said all of that, I wouldn't say either version of Bitdefender has a steep learning curve. Just some of the features offered are gonna vary. So consider what you really need. Whoa, hang on there just a second. Were you about to leave this Bitdefender free versus premium review without subscribing? Come on, I offer not only Bitdefender review videos, but tons of researched and helpful content. So come on, just join our little community and be informed. Now, would I say Bitdefender is the best antivirus? In all honesty, I can't make that choice for you. Your online habits are part of the decision process here. But I can and will recommend Bitdefender as a no-hassle solution that's reputable and has versatile plans for anyone. So if you want advanced protection alongside a firewall and customizable scans, I'd say the premium option is good and even affordable. But hey, let's hear your opinion for this Bitdefender premium versus free review. Do you trust free antivirus software? And if so, why? Don't forget, if you find the limitations of the free plan a little bit of a struggle, well, tap that box on the screen to get the best deals on the premium stuff. They're always updated, I promise. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. For more great info and content, just head over to the Cyber News channel.